Hello dear viewers insulin is a hormone that helps the human body to regulate blood glucose levels it moves glucose from the blood into the body cells where it is used as fuel after the body uses what it needs the rest gets stored in the liver muscles and fat cells when people do not take insulin or their bodies do not respond to insulin the way they should be that's called diabetes In these cases insulin medication can help to manage blood glucose levels insulins are categorized into various classes by differences in number 1 onset that means how quickly they act number 2 peak how long it takes to achieve maximum impact number 3 duration how long they last before they wear off number 4 concentration insulin sold in the US have a concentration of 100 units per ml or u100 in other countries additional concentrations are available note if you purchase insulin abroad be sure it is u100 number 5 route of delivery whether they are injected under the skin or given intravenously there are three main types of insulin fast acting insulin Fast acting insulin is absorbed quickly from your fat tissues into the blood stream. It is mainly used to control the blood sugar during meals and to correct high blood sugars. Fast acting insulin further includes rapid acting insulin analogs such as insulin aspar, insulin lispro, insulin glulysine, which have an onset of action of 5 to 15 minutes, peak effect in 1 to 2 hours and duration of action that lasts 4 to 6 hours the other is regular human insulin which has an onset of action of half hour to 1 hour peak effect in 2 to 4 hours and duration of action of 6 to 8 hours regular human insulin also called as short acting insulin and it is the only type of insulin that can be used intravenously for treatment of hyperkalemia mainly in diabetic ketoacidosis or dka Second is intermediate acting insulin. Intermediate acting insulin is absorbed more slowly and lasts longer. It is used to control the blood sugar overnight while fasting and between meals. It includes NPH human insulin, neutral protamine hagedron human insulin, which has an onset of effect of one to two hours, a peak effect of four to six hours. and duration of action of more than 12 hours the third, second is pre mixed insulin which is nph pre mixed with either regular human insulin or a rapid acting insulin analog the insulin action profile is a combination of the short and intermediate acting insulins third and the last type of insulin is long acting insulin Long acting insulin is absorbed slowly has a minimal peak effect and a stable plateau effect that lasts most of the day. It is used to control the blood sugar overnight while fasting and between meals. Long acting insulin analogs such as insulin glargine insulin detamir have an an onset of insulin effect in 1 and a half to 2 hours. The insulin effect plateaus over the next few hours and is followed by a relatively flat duration of action that lasts 12 to 24 hours for insulin detamir and 24 hours for insulin glargine